Parties or lawyers negotiating contracts need to be careful what they say, because as the parties in Embry versus the Hargadine McKittrick Dry Goods Company discovered, someone saying the wrong thing could wind up bound to a contract, whether or not that's what was intended. The Hargadine McKittrick Dry Goods Company hired Charles Embry to run their samples department. His job was to select samples for the company's traveling sales staff. His written employment contract was for one year and provided for a salary of $2,000. It expired on December 5, 1903. Embry claimed that prior to the contract's expiration, he'd repeatedly spoken to the company's president, Thomas McKittrick, about renewing it for another year, but that McKittrick put him off. Finally, Embry and McKittrick had it out in McKittrick's office on December 23rd, but their accounts differed regarding what happened. In Embry's account of the meeting, Embry told McKittrick that another contract was needed immediately. Otherwise, Embry would seek employment elsewhere. According to Embry, McKittrick told him to keep the sales staff equipped and on the road and not to let the contract issue worry him. Thus, Embry interpreted McKittrick's comments as agreement to Embry's demand for another year's employment. McKittrick, however, testified that he didn't have time that day to talk to Embry and said so. McKittrick claimed that he told Embry to get his staff out on the road and that they would talk on a later date. On February 14, 1904, the company notified Embry that his employment would end on March 1st. Embry sued the company in the St. Louis Circuit Court for breach of his employment contract. The trial court instructed the jury that if it found that Embry and McKittrick both intended to contract for an additional year's employment, then a contract had been made. The jury ruled in the company's favor, and Embry appealed to the St. Louis Court of Appeals.